This episode is sponsored by Free Market Kids. Join the league of families who are transforming family time into unforgettable Bitcoin learning experiences. With our Hoddle Up Bitcoin mining board game, you're not just playing. You're building bridges, creating memories, and unlocking the brilliance of the future one block at a time. Hi, everyone. Welcome to the first episode of Orange Hatter. I'm so excited to launch this project to share stories and conversations with women in the hopes that I can help you get interested and curious about this thing called Bitcoin. My very first guest is Laura from Italy. Laura, welcome to the show. Thank you so much for joining us. Would you tell us a little bit about yourself and when you first heard about Bitcoin? Okay. Hello, everybody. Ciao. I, and from, from this salute, we, you can understand it. And I'm Italian. I, I, I'm speaking from Milano, maybe one of, of the two most important cities in Italy. And uh, I, the first time I heard uh, about Bitcoin, it was uh, during uh, the COVID lockdowns, because we have uh, we had in Italy uh, a lot of problems. Also in my town, is in the north of Italy that had uh, that lots of problems that uh, worldwide uh, uh, are known. And I it, I find out uh, a lot of new friends. Because I, I had to stay to, to home, anything to do, and I tried to uh, escape from that crazy period. So I had to find out something else, something different, something easy, easy, uh, n- not so easy to, to understand or, or, or to learn, but something easy and completely different from that, uh, from that, uh, from that environment uh, news and also everything sorry for my english <laughs> so in, in italian maybe it's better but uh, i i do my best <laughs> no you you're doing just fine to recap what you said during covid you were sort of isolated and you're looking for something to learn about yes so that's why you came across bitcoin and decided to study it yes i i came across a lot of webinars Mm-hmm. And a lot of uh, news, uh, well stru- structured uh, from Italian Bitcoiners. Uh, f- uh, until that time, my my opinion about Bitcoin was that Bitcoin is trading, mm-hmm. and I'm a normal person. I have a, a normal job, so I have no money to to invest. And Bitcoin was not one of my target. Mm-hmm. But I understand that Bitcoin is a, a freedom tool. Mm-hmm. How did you come across that understanding that, that Bitcoin is not an investment tool, but a, a freedom tool? I, I came across some uh, bad, bo- bad, bad guys, bad guys that are called on the web uh, toxic maxi. Mm-hmm. The maximalists are not so uh, bad people. They have a, 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 a nice horizon in mind. Mm-hmm. And their goal is to uh, let more people understand what Bitcoin is. Mm-hmm. So uh, I spend uh, maybe 10 hours uh, in, in, in a three days webinar. Mm-hmm. And nobody talk about Bitcoin. No, nobody talk about the protocol. Everybody start from the, the the history of the money, right? The power of the money, and then you understand why uh, a sound money is so needed in in our in our society for the for the entire humans, not only for Italians, not only for uh, United States uh, people, but mm-hmm. for all the out billion uh, people we are we are on the earth, right. So when you, if you recall that first three-day webinar that you, you attended, what were the major points that really jumped out at you that made you believe that this is a freedom tool? Is, uh, the, the first thing, it was to recognize that I, um, I, I, I was completely financial illiteracy. Mm, mm-hmm. Illiterate completely. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't know anything about money, about uh, financial, about economics. Mm-hmm. 
Mm-hmm. But it's not uh, um, so hard to understand because in 10 hours, I understand this. Then you have to applicate yourself to study more mm-hmm. if you want, but it's not needed. Uh, 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 what I understand in then 10 hours is that I can do everything, I, uh, 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 whatever I want mm-hmm. with, with my money, mm-hmm. without mi- middlemen, without uh, asking permission. Mm-hmm. In that days where I had to ask permission also to exit from my house. So it, it was the, 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 the big, uh, the, um, the wide, uh, the white open mind that I had in the days. So being in lockdown helped you see the power of freedom. Is that what you're yes. Okay. Got yes. it. Got it. What about from your own personal, just financial experience? Were there any part of your financial background that jumped out at you that basically affirmed what these people were saying about how our money is under such utter control of the central agencies? Do you have any personal stories you can share in that regard? Not exactly, because I, I was so so ignorant about uh, this topic. But I really understand why I am so poor in my 50, uh, 54 years. I work from 30 years and I don't have money uh, as a store of value. And now I understand why, why I don't have. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? Yes, I, I work uh, with, a, with a nice job in a commercial office. Mm-hmm. And uh, uh, I, I gain, again, I don't know, uh, my income, sorry. My income is uh, 1,200 no, 1, euros. Mm-hmm. And I have to pay a lot for, for rent for the house, a lot for groceries, a lot for uh, energy bills. So I have, I, I, I remain with maybe 100 euros in, uh, in the pocket mm-hmm. th- that I can do all my, all my, uh, I have to do everything with this. That you're spending money. Yes. And I never understand that. 100 euros in the pocket could be a store of value for the future. Mm-hmm. This is this is one a, a, another argument that triggered me a lot in that three hours in that three days webinar mm-hmm. because I understand I don't have to own an uh, an entire Bitcoin. I can grow up uh, uh, in in a small uh, with small uh, segment. Right. So how do you think it will be different now that you are aware of the existence of Bitcoin, that it can be a source of wealth? Like, how does that change your everyday life? Yes, everything has changed because first off, I saw a, a light, uh, we used to say in Italy, I don't know if it's the same in the States, I saw a light at the end of the tunnel. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I saw. I saw a light, and a smile uh, ar- ar- arise on my face. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm really happy for this. Uh, so, uh, I, and, and I have decided to 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 applicate myself to study maybe si- five or six d- uh, hours a day. That's a long time. I was at home, so it's not so difficult. <laughs> I was doing nothing. The only thing that uh, remained to me in, in the lockdowns and lockdowns in, in Italy were for maybe four months. So the only thing you have to, to do is to uh, turn on television and hear news, uh, monothematic news, only one news for four, for four months. Or maybe read, or maybe do something else. And Bitcoin was my that uh, that something else for me. Mm-hmm. Wow! So the lockdown was actually a real blessing for you then. <laughs> <laughs> I have to uh, I have to thank COVID and lockdown for a lot of reasons, and one of them one of them is uh, Bitcoin. Wow! 
Wonderful. Okay, so after the three days uh, webinar, which spanned 10 hours, you went from a skeptic to a believer? I became from a, a, a no coiner at all, from a, a, a no user, a, a, a no, no, uh, I, I didn't know anything about Bitcoin until the, until that time. And I became a, a, maybe an enthusiast. Enthusiast, okay. Yes. Yeah. Yes, sorry. Yeah, so Correct, from, my pronouns is nice. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're doing wonderful. So in the okay, so after that, after that initial three days webinar, you said that you studied five to six hours a day. Can you tell our audience what you study specifically? Maybe they that will guide them toward um, different resources. Yes, I, I joined to a, an online course mm-hmm. one day a week on Monday, mm-hmm. and I. I I do that course already now. It's three years that I study. What course was that? Uh, from a teacher, from uh, one of the Italian uh, maximalists uh, here in Italy. Got it. Okay. Another one that has to reinvent his job because he, he was not able to, to go out mm-hmm. for his job. Mm-hmm. And he decided to, to start some uh, s- s- some courses about this. Okay, so so basically online courses, you were interacting with live people. So it wasn't necessarily that you were listening to recorded podcasts or uh, reading a bunch of articles or books. Yes, I, I, I saw a, a lot of... Uh, uh, in Italy, there is a, a very nice and huge movement about Bitcoin. Uh, there are a lot of videos, a lot of tutorials, a lot of podcasts. And they are very, very skillful, very, very skillful. Uh, during the the course, I, I I found very easy for me to understand the protocol Bitcoin. Uh, I am graduated in physics, so it, it's easy for me. Okay, but it it it, it doesn't matter w- w- what is your instruction and your background, because when you meet Bitcoin, you you are a person that lives in this world. Mm-hmm. You have some goal in mind. Maybe you don't know your goal, but when you meet Bitcoin, your goals are uh, behind you. It's total clear. Okay? Mm. And you decide uh, how many hours you, you, you can uh, study mm-hmm. in, during the, the day. Mm-hmm. It, it's, only, it's only a mindset. Uh, you, you only have to decide to take... Uh, that moment for you, for, for you, mm-hmm. for yourself. Mm-hmm. This is enough. I had a lot of hours, but I preferred to, to go to, to job, maybe not to meet Bitcoin. I don't know. Yeah, I think I, pre- I prefer this. So you said, once you meet Bitcoin, you will your goals become clear. Can you tell me more about that? What does that mean exactly? Uh, uh, during the, the, the course, uh, after three years, I became uh, the, uh, one of the two senior assistants of the teacher. Okay, so uh, we meet a lot of people, and uh, anybody has he, he his or her own needs. Someone is a merchant and need to accept Bitcoin. Someone is um, uh, uh, near the retirement retirement period so without job cannot do groceries uh, uh space uh, sorry <laughs> cannot buy groceries okay and anybody that meet bitcoin and understand how to manage maybe only only to manage how to buy bitcoin how to store bitcoin and how to use bitcoin understand the path that have to go for him or for her I never met, uh, except maybe, me, but I don't know, except music, maybe. But music uh, in a, a, as a, a big um, um, a big world, only, only music maybe is uh, so universal for for individual people, for individual needs like Bitcoin. But music is 
Uh, you you can like uh, rock, you can like classical music, <laughs> so the entire music. And Bitcoin is uh, maybe uh, uh, a sort of uh, you 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 can find sort of genres that you like inside the the protocol. Thank you for joining us today. We will continue this conversation tomorrow. Be sure to come back and hear the rest. See you next time.